morning, everybody. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, we're getting out here and checking some sets. Um, I'm gonna see if we got anything. Hopefully we do. Uh, it'd be cool. It'd be awesome. But uh, we're on a little behind this morning, so we're kind of getting rolling here. But uh, we're gonna pray and get on down the line. So, dear Lord, we thank you for the blessings that you give to us each and every day. Um, thank you for the opportunity to get out and just enjoy nature and try and uh, catch some coyotes and enjoy enjoy our time out. Just be with those who can't get out and do this. Um, just help them and work in their lives. Bless them, Lord. Thank you again for loving us. And ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Well, down the road we go. We'll catch you later. All right, guys. So we're gonna make a, another set here. Um, this is a set that I'm coming up with. Um, I'm utilizing some of the idea from an old guy where I grew up. Um, excuse me. He used to make a set similar to this, but. Uh, I'm using some other ideas, like I said in some of my other videos. Don't um, don't take one idea from pre one person or another and stick to that idea. Build on it. Always try and learn new stuff. Um, that's what makes you a better trapper, and it'll keep you keep you catching fur. So I don't even know what I'm gonna call this set yet, um, but. Uh, circle set I guess I don't, I don't know we'll come up with it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a clump of um, grass uh, and dig it out here and then I'll take it over here and I'll put it in over here I'll show you what I'll what I'm gonna do with it And this is, that doesn't have to be just a, a clump of grass. Um, this mullen might work. This piece of mullen. I'm gonna use that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here somewhere. Um, I think about, I think about right in here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a uh, I'm gonna make a circle here of that. Try and get it down to as bare ground as I can. the um, this grass here you could utilize that for in the middle and I might even do that that's one thing don't get something set in your mind I mean as you're making a set um, you might change your mind alter something a little bit just kind of try and remember what you did um, might help you in the next set but I'm gonna try and make about a two foot, three foot circle here. Maybe a little bigger, I don't know. Um, it's kind of hard. Uh, where I grew up, um, we had oak leaves and stuff. So it was a little easier to make this set. Uh, you could just scrape the leaves out of that pile, get down to the dirt real quick and away with it. And easy to do, but. And with this being frozen. Uh, 
um, a little harder. What I want this to be is I want this to stand out. You know, I want this to really stand out, his circle. And uh, the idea behind it is the, the uh, um, coyote, he'll come in, he'll see this, he comes down through, they, they work this area. I know they do, I've caught a bunch of coyotes here before, so I know this is a good area. Um, they'll come through and they'll see this. Um, now we're supposed to get a bunch of snow here in the next, uh, I think about four days, five days, we're supposed to get a bunch of snow. Um, about nine to ten inches, something like that. So, and then we're supposed to get a couple, about three more day or two after and that. So this could be interesting. But um, hopefully I get them, get them in here before, beforehand. Um, but I, you can do the same thing with the snow. Make a circle in the snow. And what you'll do is you'll set your set on the outside of this circle, okay? Um, and what they'll do is they'll come in and they'll circle the set. They'll cir circle this. So we're trying to figure out what this is because I'm going to have a hole in here, put my probably snap that off about oh right there I'll stick that in the middle okay might take a little bit of this grass and put it around here but I'll take and uh, do that oh, no I put some lure down on here and uh, they'll, they'll smell that lure and they'll be like what in the world's going on there and they'll, they'll circle this trying to figure out what's what's up with that they won't come into this circle because it's different something's different here but they feel safe out here on this edge so they come you know they'll, they'll circle that and that's when they come around here we'll have our trap waiting for them um, I don't have a crazy amount of traps like some guys do um, you know several hundred traps or something like that I don't have that many um, but uh, so I'm kind of limited on how, where I set my sets and how many sets I set. Um, but you could put, uh, if you were at a good spot, you could put a set on one side and a set on the other. Um, would be really good um, because of, uh, and put them on drags, if you could get them on drags. And then you could get one, pull off, and then the other one uh, is still there working, waiting for another coyote. But uh, I'm just going to keep on working at this. Just try and get it down to good bare ground. idea kind of from um he uh he didn't he just used a little bit of grass like that i'm gonna put his lure in there underneath there which works great works fine i'm just trying to do something a little bit different you know um that's a good thing like i said keep that in mind just do stuff different um, come up with new ideas that you can try and make work. And this will this will stand out to the coyotes. Something's been in here. I mean that 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 stands that'll stand out a long ways off. So. Um, what I'm going to do is get my trap 
and I'll show you where I'm gonna bed that. Um, I already have a pretty good idea. I'll probably end up putting it right here. There's a low spot right here already, naturally, right there. And he comes around here. He can come, I'll move this, a little bit of this ice and stuff. Um, but there's this low spot right here. And put your set in that low spot and you can put a little bit of blocking in a couple little twigs sticking up and stuff to try and guide them um, but I think that's where I'm gonna put my set so I'm gonna get my set and get the whole dug out and back with you okay so what got our trap bed dug in um, now something uh, I use a little bigger trap. This is the MB650. Um, these are great traps. Um, you know, a lot of guys are really liking the 550s. Um, but on the, a set like this, I'm uh, trying to use a little bigger jawed trap. Um, I can get all the wobble out of that trap. Don't want any wobble in your trap. Um, you can help it at all. You don't, well, not if you can help it. You don't want any wobble. There's a little bit there. Alright, that's not bad. And they want this to be set in a, a low low spot. Um, there. Alright now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with my other sets. I'm just going to take some grass clippings and put grass clippings in here. Um, this here is kind of a, I want to make a little bit of a grass duff right there. Stick it up a little bit higher so they're going to want to step over that. Um, and I can take and run a little bit of a twig down here like such. So that uh, they don't want to come in and catch that loose jaw side. Um, so that's how we're going to put the trap. Now we're going to take and uh, get some grass here. I can even use some of this that I pulled up um, to take and put over my set. You don't want to take and use. Um, big, long uh, pieces of grass that can clog your jaws. So don't don't use, you know, big, long, thick, heavy pieces of grass. Just use your use smaller, thinner stuff. That's why like uh, grass clippings from your yard and stuff work really well because they're already fine and you want that to be where your pan's at you want that to be a low spot in there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of grass, stick it there, and then make a little bit of a almost like stepping guides. Like 
And there's, you know, it, it kind of looks a little funny, I guess you could say. Um, it looks really odd, but it blends in. It'll blend in. Um, and with that being a low spot, when they come around, circle around here, they're gonna, um, they're gonna see that, or they're gonna use that low spot, same as right here. Right here's a low spot. See that? Right there. They'll step there. They're gonna take them lower spots, and that looks quite a bit lower. So they're gonna come around. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I should have. And I didn't. Um, Should have used my stake to do this, but this will work. And then that's where we're going to stick our, our gizmo, whatever you want to call that, our eye appeal. So. Then I'm gonna take once I put my lure down in here too. Take some sheep's wool. I might even put a little sheep's wool up here on top just for eye appeal. And put my lure down in there. Then I'll take some of this grass and I'll pile in around the base of it. Just a little, little tough like that. And then we'll scrape this back. Like that, and uh, you know you, you get uh, trap shy or circle shy coyotes, um, and and you know they they can be hard, but a lot of times they'll circle the the traps or the uh, the circles where you caught another coyote. Um, so they'll circle that. You'll see where they walked around the set. Um, this is a good way to work on those coyotes that are circle shy too. So I'm gonna get my lure in here and uh, we're gonna be on our way. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Take care, God bless.